Life is directed by Daniel Espinosa, who is the director of Child 44 and Safe House. And just to give you guys my brief thoughts on this film, it is smart, funny, and intense. Let's get into why. So the film is about a group of astronauts who are stranded on the International Space Station. And, well, what I mean by stranded is that they have this life form that's apparently from Mars, but they don't know it's from Mars yet, I guess, so they just have this life form. And while they're playing around with it, they're trying to see how it reacts to certain objects and certain things, and whether the temperature or not makes it do other certain things. So what I'm trying to say is they're just basically testing what this thing is. They know it technically has a, a mind of its own, and basically... The more it eats, the stronger it gets. And so, then you have a problem. <clears throat> and that comes with the stupid choices that one of the characters makes throughout the film. And you briefly see that in the trailer, but that doesn't happen until later on, at least within the first 30 minutes. So the movie stars Ryan Reynolds, Jake Neelenhall, and Rebecca Ferguson. And so, basically, you have those three astronauts that are on the ship along with a few other people that I don't really know their names. So sorry if you guys know, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm just saying like the main stars of it. Um but I still want to like know who the others are. So basically you have these team of astronauts and yes, the life form is the one that destroyed all of Mars. And now it threatens the destruction of Earth. But they keep signaling back and forth to Earth to sort of I guess, keep the world informed on what they're doing, but not giving too much away. And so you start to see their personal lives. There's this one guy who has a baby back on Earth, and you sort of see that he has a family and something to come back to, uh, and you see that most of these people are father figures in this movie. But the ones that are not, well, they're more of the funny type, meaning Ryan Reynolds, and they have more of a sense of, let's get this job done. We, we're here to do this. Don't screw anything up or else, you know, we're going to be the ones who pay for it. And that is a good thing to sort of say to the crew because of what the people start doing to the creature that they find. And it's very important because once that creature gets out and once it actually starts attacking the crew, that's when things go down in this movie. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because you see it in the trailer. You know you know this is going to happen. If you don't think the alien is somehow going to start attacking the people in the ship, then go watch another alien movie first and then come back to this one and know what, or at least try to expect what's going to happen. But that's all I'm going to say. It, it basically is a, a survival movie in an international space station. They eventually lose contact from Earth. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they basically are now on their own. And you see that the ship goes cold, and then one by one they start going away and dying, and they learn more about the creature, at the same time learning more about themselves. And I feel like that's really important, because this movie does a great job of having you care about the characters, but not really know a lot about them or their backstory, even though backstory is not relevant for this film, it just sort of gives you a little bit more insight on what these characters are going through and what they have back home and why they are fighting and why they are scared and and just what makes them tick in order to want to survive a little bit longer and not be so scared even though they are. So that's what I thought this film did a great job of, uh, especially with its characters, which is what I just explained to you guys. So if anything, go see the, the, the movie for, the char for its characters because it'll hit you hard and it, it'll make you actually care about them. And every time somebody died, you were just hoping it wasn't that person that was in that situation. But obviously it was or else there wouldn't be a situation in the first place to have this movie. So there are going to be people you care about that do die. Just be aware of that, guys, throughout this film. But other than that, other than that, it's super funny. you got Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool in this film. Obviously, he's not Deadpool in the movie, but you just sort of know him as Deadpool, and you're like, oh, it's going to have that sort of humor in there, at least somewhere. And it, it was written as if they wanted Ryan Reynolds to play the role, because he just did it so well. And that was for everybody. Jake Gyllenhaal's scream is on point, unlike Tom Cruise in The Mummy. And it's just, everything is so real about this, even though it's a fictional movie. And that's what's really cool. Guys, so in the end, I am going to give this movie a great. I don't know if I've rated a movie a great before, so now I have. 
and it's right below Awesome and then Excellency, so it's pretty high up there on our rating. It's just this movie did a great job of making me laugh, even though it was supposed to be a really serious movie, and it was intense throughout the whole entire film. There was literally one scene where I was not freaking out about what was happening, and that was a really well-acted scene as well, and... If you see in the trailer them reading the book, well, there's a book that they read and it sort of calms everybody down and makes for a cool monologue. So I thought that was pretty cool to see implemented into the film and it made me even care and it made me care about the characters even more. So again, I'm going to give this film a great. Guys, I'm a huge fan of any alien film. I have seen some really bad ones, ones that have even given me a headache, and then some really good ones that I obviously love. And this is one of the ones that I love. I will see this again, this time being not as stressed out because I know what's going to happen. But if a film like this that stresses you out and it has good characters and good storyline and awesome special effects, this is the film that you want to go see. And if you can see it over and over again, then definitely you're going to want to go see it. So, guys, thank you for watching. This was my shorter review for the film Life. Uh, definitely check it out. I will have my Train Spotting 2 movie review out later today as well. I saw it yesterday. Uh, I saw Life the day before yesterday, but I wanted to do two reviews on the same day instead of one review one day and one review on the other. So you're going to get double. Thank you guys for waiting and watching. Please rate, comment, like. Tell me what your favorite alien film is down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.